Good day. Well, I own a Torquedo 1003S, and the other day I took it out, and uh, when I turned the throttle up to the highest speeds, I lost propulsion, and uh, the the prop part shaft was spinning and wasn't turning the propeller, so it had no grip on actually making the propeller turn. Uh, I looked a bit online, and it seems like the most common cause for this is a broken shear pin. I took this off. And here is my shear pin in two parts. So, yep, I'd say that's the cause. Now this thing here is completely rusted. So obviously it's been on there too long, been left to fester and rust, and it just, I hit a bit of a rock or something and broke it through. So the thing is, I don't actually have any authorized authentic uh, replacement pins. So we are gonna have to come up with a solution for how we can get this working again. So here we see the prop has been removed, and that's where the shear pin goes. Now on mine, the shear, the middle part of the shear pin is rusted, and it's sticking in there. So I'm basically gonna try to hammer it out with something relatively heavy. Okay, so in the end I needed something a bit heavier. Got here a spanner that managed to fit, and just a standard uh, hammer. And you see there, we've hammered it through, and it's peeking out the other end. There it is. There is the middle part. Focus, please. The middle part of that shear pin. So we managed to get the pin out now. And I've been looking in my box here for alternatives that can fit. So I've determined that this is the nearest thing that will fit. So we get that shear. Uh, there uh, and it'll with a bit of work it'll go in so that'll work and it's actually a tight fit so that's good so uh, sorry buddy you're about to be sacrificed now I've determined by using a little bit of wooden dowel what size we need to do to replace so that fits so we need to cut a section of this size out with a Dremel multi-tool so what we're going to do is use a metal cutting disc metal yeah so basically I don't ever use the Dremel so really cool tools to have just attach that on the end and I'm going to saw in those lengths and then use this to sand and round the edges so that they're not sharp, just to help preserve that. Just round them off a little bit, and I'll see you in a bit. Here we are again, here's the final result. So we pop that in, and push it in, a bit tough. There we go, Let's see how it goes. Here we are with our requisite parts to put it back together again. By the way, I didn't show taking this off because I wasn't too sure how to do it myself until it was done. But there's a great uh, video on Torquedo's site that shows you how to do it. I should link it in the description. Essentially, washer, pin, Prop, get that centered. Luckily, it's fairly tight in there, so it's not going to water out. Push that on. Cool, so that's clicked in, and we can see here that a little bit of gap is natural, but that's about what it was before. So what we do here is put another washer in so there. Put the nut in. So that's in there. The best way to do it is use a pair of pliers and just place it in directly. So we're gonna rotate it a little bit, get it on there. Get it around. So 
that's already a little bit fastened by my fingers. So what torpedoes say to do is to use a 17 mil, whatever it's called. <laughs> I, just, I just don't know the names of the things, ridiculous. There we go. 17 mil and it's clockwise to tighten and we hold on to the fins of the prop as we do it until it gets tight. I can't do that whilst I'm on the camera, so I'll see you on the other side. Cool. So that's in there, tightened. Now what happened before was I could actually quickly move this and I would feel give, like I could feel it rotating because the pin wasn't holding things in there. Incidentally, if you want to get this off, it's actually quite difficult. I had to look online to see how to do it. You're essentially going to want to give counterclockwise jerks. So very quickly, like jerk, jerk, jerk. And that'll, it needs to basically, you need to shock it off, loosen it off before you can then unscrew it. The process of putting it back in is actually a lot easier. You just tighten it as, as you would tighten anything else. So that's how it's getting on. So that should be us done. Let's see how it goes. So I put the torpedo on the dinghy and took it out for a spin and uh, this worked fantastically, I, I'm happy to say. I dare say actually it could uh, I could use it full time. Naturally I will be buying the proper torpedo replacements and a lot of them because uh, this seems like a problem that can happen a lot and seems to happen a lot to other people. So if you're thinking of getting a torpedo, get a, get a batch of these saved up for situations like this.